I'm gonna show you why I'm choosing winter bee kinds over liquid feed, even in the first week of April. I've made an important discovery. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, let's take a look. It got sticky, it got warm today, and then it cooled off. They've eaten a lot of it, look at that. So I'm gonna tell you in just a minute why I think it's important to keep feeding bees winter bee kinds. I'm gonna show you why it's better than liquid right now. Obviously the one that needs the winter bee kind the most is this one right here. And it's gonna get down pretty cold tonight, back down to about 39, I think, for a low. So what we're gonna to have to do is, I don't think I put a winter bee kind on here when I made my split yesterday. So they need one because if they ate uh, five pounds in three days, then they're ready for some more food. Yep, they're up there at the top. Look at that. Okay, so here we are. There you see it, April the 5th. I'm putting another winter bee kind on to feed them. They ate this other one in just three days. There you go, girls, supper time. Knock these bees off the top, back into the bottom board. There we go. And put a brick on it, and we're good. Now the other thing we have to do, I have to go into the new apiary yard now and put a candy board up on the split. Now in just a minute, I'm gonna explain this to you, so don't go anywhere. This is exciting. You're gonna really enjoy learning about this. Hang on, let's go look at that split. Wow, look at that wind block made out of metal and the wind blew it and made it more circular than the way I put it in there. That was so windy yesterday. I put the uh, golf cart here so that I could get an orientation flight, uh, a new orientation flight from the bees. Oh, look, the trees are starting to bloom a little bit. Wow. Oh boy, it's cold. It's gonna be cold. I'm gonna explain all of this in just a moment, but we really do need to take a look at this split and we need to feed them. You know how it's funny when you work a hive and then you sleep on it, you start thinking about things like, oh, that's, that little split didn't have much food on it. So what I, I decided to do was, today after the rain stopped, it rained all day long, I decided to come out here and put some food here for these bees. All right. Oh, that's a drone right there, okay. So we're gonna give them a winter bee kind and I'm gonna explain why they're getting a winter bee kind. Oh, they needed fed so bad. I got a stick in there with them. All right, there we go. Whew, whoop, let's get these bees in there. Got some on the top cover. So in order to shake them off, let's smoke these down a little bit, calm them down. And instead of banging in on the hive, I'll use my hand. Oh, I got pretty good. They built a little comb up there. All right, here we go. Man, it's still cold. Look at that. That's a comb that they built in one day. So we're gonna put the top cover back on. Let's make sure it's flush. Yep. Let's put a brick on it. That way they'll have food because we've got many days of cold nights coming up. All right, guys, I got some really exciting things to share with you today. Let me get my bee bonnet off. Now, guys, before I explain this temperature chart to you and why I'm feeding winter bee kinds instead of liquid, please subscribe and click on the bell. Give me a thumbs up. Now, let me explain this to you because it's actually showing what I'm gonna be facing over the next few days. It's never gonna get above 50 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 hours. So if you look at that, look at this, this whole period here, it's well below 50 or just at 50 or below. Only 17 hours. Bees will only eat liquid feed when it's over 50 degrees. I'm only gonna have five hours where it does get above 50 and two hours here where it gets above 50, but it's not that exciting. It's not that high above 50. I've got several days like this. So for the most part, my bees would not consume any liquid feed, but they will consume my winter bee kinds. 
That's why I've decided to go with Winter Be Kind. Now come along with me and let's make a split in this video. You'll know about my timing, why I decide to split a hive. See you over there.